The following segment is sponsored by Northern Nevada Health System. It is the thick of cold and flu season right now. And for Family 411 this week, we are at Northern Nevada Sierra Medical Center here with Tori Vieira to talk to us about supporting our family during this season. And it can get really tough. Yes, um, ensuring that your kids get plenty of rest, um, making sure they drink lots of fluids to stay hydrated, um, and then also giving them medications such as Tylenol and ibuprofen to reduce their fever, depending on the age of the child, is a great way to um, give them supportive care at home. And do you have to be shy with that at all when it comes to a child that has a fever, or can you feel free to help them bring down that fever anytime they have one? Yes, um, making them feel better by giving them those medications will encourage them to want to eat and drink, and so doing that is really helpful for them. So when, when your child is sick, when do you make the call to take them to the ER? Um, yeah, there's mul multiple reasons. Um, your child being very irritable, unable to console them. Um, they're working really hard to breathe. They appear that they're short of breath. Um, they're not able to drink those fluids to stay hydrated. Continuous vomiting, um, a fever that they are not able to reduce after you give them those medications are all reasons why you should bring them in. Okay, how about kids who are immunocompromised? How do you stop them from getting sick or what are the best practices in trying to care for your family if that's something that they have? The one biggest way that we can prevent the spread of germs and infections is hand washing. So encouraging your kiddos to wash their hands, um, those immunocompromised kiddos. Um, vaccines are really important. Um, the flu vaccine, getting that in October every year is really important for those kids a COVID vaccine if they're eligible, and then also encouraging them not to be around the ill and wearing a mask in those high-risk settings. What about those families who have kids that keep coming home sick? They keep coming home with a stomach bug or a sore throat or a fever. Is that normal? Is that unusual? Unfortunately, yes, that can be very normal for kiddos to get multiple illnesses. They say between 2 and 11 illnesses a year is normal for a kiddo. Tori Vieira, thank you so much for your time. Tori Vieira is the director of the Family Birth Center here at Northern Nevada Sierra Medical Center. If you want to rewatch this interview in its entirety or if you missed anything, you can find it on our website, foxreno.com. Just search Family 411.